On August 14, 2024, the World Health Organization raised its highest level of alert in response to the Mpox outbreak. Once known as monkeypox, Mpox has gone from being a rare disease confined to specific regions in Africa to a global threat. So, what exactly is Mpox? What are the risks? And most importantly, should you be worried? What is Mpox? Mpox is a viral disease caused by the monkeypox virus, which belongs to the same family as the classic smallpox virus, though it's generally less severe. The virus spreads primarily through direct contact with bodily fluids, skin lesions, respiratory droplets from an infected person, or through sexual contact. It can also be transmitted by infected animals, particularly rodents and primates, or by consuming undercooked meat from infected animals. The virus can even survive on contaminated surfaces, meaning objects like clothing, bed linens, or even door handles can contribute to its spread. But where does this disease actually come from? The origin of Mpox. The virus was first identified in 1958 in laboratory monkeys in Denmark, which is where the name monkeypox comes from. However, it wasn't until 1970 that the first human case was recorded in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Since then, Mpox has sporadically appeared, mainly in Central and West Africa, in countries like Nigeria, Cameroon, and Gabon. But since July 2022, the disease has spread to over a hundred countries where the virus had never been seen before. What are the symptoms of Mpox? Symptoms of Mpox usually appear between 5 and 21 days after exposure to the virus. The initial signs often resemble those of many other viral illnesses – fever, headaches, muscle aches, and extreme fatigue. A few days after the fever starts, a distinctive rash develops, often beginning on the face and then spreading to other parts of the body. While most Mpox infections are mild, some can lead to serious complications. These include secondary bacterial infections, pneumonia, encephalitis, and in some cases, eye infections that can result in blindness. Children, the elderly, immunocompromised individuals, and pregnant women are particularly at risk of severe disease. A new clade 1B variant has a mortality rate of 10% in children and 5% in adults, spreading across many African countries and recently reaching Sweden. However, these mortality rates have been observed in countries with less developed healthcare systems compared to the West. Can you protect yourself? Currently, there's no specific treatment for Mpox, but symptoms can be managed with supportive care. Antivirals like tecovirimat may be used in severe cases. Prevention remains our best defense against Mpox. This includes hand hygiene, wearing masks in high-risk areas, and isolating infected individuals. There are also vaccines that can prevent the disease, particularly the smallpox vaccine, which offers cross-protection with an estimated 85% effectiveness in preventing Mpox. Should you be worried about Mpox? According to the WHO, more than 99,000 Mpox cases have been identified across over 110 countries with approximately 208 officially recorded deaths. So far, the virus has primarily been present in Africa, in countries with less developed healthcare and detection systems. In August 2024, a more contagious and deadly strain was identified in Sweden in a person returning from a country where the virus is actively circulating. Fortunately, researchers are working hard to develop new treatments, improve existing vaccines, and better understand the dynamics of this virus. What about you? Are you worried about Mpox? Do you think it could be the next dreaded pandemic? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and support us on Patreon for just $1 if you enjoyed this video. And as always, stay curious.